Okay, hey y'all, it's your girl Nia Bia, and I literally just got back from like a birthday dinner, so I'm like, why not do story time? Like, why not? I would love to tell y'all about my crazy childhood and what I went through, so I'm like, story time. I ain't doing nothing, I'm in my room, so I'm like, okay, I gotta tell y'all a story. So before I get into the video, before I tell y'all anything, I need y'all to subscribe right now. Subscribe right now. We gonna win. Hit that bell too. We gonna wait one more time. Did y'all do it? Okay, now I can tell y'all. So as y'all can tell by the title, this is a story time of how I lied to my parents about a date and I got caught, y'all. <laughs> I know it's crazy. So, I was in high school. It was about, say, my 11th grade year or 12th grade year. I'm not sure. And so, during that time, like, okay, I'm just telling y'all about my parents. My parents are, well, they were strict back then. They didn't let me go nowhere. Y'all, literally, I couldn't go to the mall without my parents following behind us. Like, literally, I would try to go to the mall with my friends, and then my dad would be like, well, me and your mom are going to come. And I'm like... You fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> what? You gonna come to the mic? Like, they, I feel like they were just really overprotective of me because I was the youngest, but still, it's like, bro, why are y'all being so overprotective? Like, and literally, when I was in high school, I had a curfew. I couldn't come home after 12. I couldn't come home after 12. And I'm like, bro, 12? What? What am I gonna do? 12 come home before 12 like during my high school year i really was going through it because i would try to do stuff with my friends and I just couldn't do it so literally i had to lie to do everything with my friends because my parents wouldn't let me if i asked them they wouldn't let me do so let me get into the story time i was at the time liking this boy we had like decided that we were gonna go on a date and so he decided he wanted to take me. It was like McAllister's or something like that. And so we were gonna go on a date. And so it was like a Saturday, I believe a Saturday afternoon. And I had my car and I was like, okay, I'm gonna meet you there. And I had to take some net. And so now it was like, okay, now I gotta tell my mom where I'm going and I gotta come up with a lie. So I'm like, okay. So I was getting dressed, getting ready, you know, finna get cute. Cause I'm like, ooh, I'm going on a date. I'm going on a date. I'm going on a date. And so, <laughs> so my mom was like, okay, you ain't cute. I'm like, yeah, I'm finna go with my friend. Well, she had asked me first. She was like, where you going? I didn't even tell her at first. I was like, oh, I'm going with my friends to Jump Zone. If y'all don't know if that is, Jump Zone is like a trampoline park at the time. And so I was like, yeah, I'm going to Jump Zone. I'm going with my friends, such and such and such and such. So, you know, I always use my friends as lies because... They know them, so I'm like, okay, I'm going uh, such and such and such and such with such and such, my friends. And so, shout out to my friends, because I stay using y'all name. <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay, y'all have fun, y'all be safe. And I'm like, okay. And so, keep in mind, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to go on this day, I'm going to eat good. And so, I'm driving to the place. I'm like, ooh, okay, I'm texting him. I'm almost there. He's like, okay, I'm here. And so, it was like... Well, I was kind of late because I was still getting ready. And so he was already there inside. But uh, before I got out the car, he had came to my car. And he was, like, helping me get out the car and all that. And then we was just outside just talking, chopping it up. He was like, so what you been doing? And I believe it was, like, over the summertime. So he was like, what you been doing for the summer? I was telling him, like, about my job and all that. And so we was really just talking. And literally, I think it was, like, 10 minutes we was outside just talking, just chopping it up. And so, and then he was looking at my car. He said, like, okay, I like your car. And I'm like, you know, but I like you. Ha! Got he! Got So, we were just talking. Time was going by. We didn't even think of it. And so, where we were eating, it was about like a Kroger. And so, not thinking that my mom had told me before I left. She was like, I'm, I'm going to the grocery store to get some groceries. She was like, do you need anything? And I'm like, no, I don't need nothing. So not thinking, I'm like, okay, my mom's not gonna go to Kroger. Tell me why I see a black 2015, I didn't even know the year, but I know I knew that car. 
2015 Toyota Mom's car. She's driving by really slow. And I'm like, this car is, why is this car driving by really slow? And it looked like my mama. And so then the car stops and my heart started beating. And I'm like, oh my gosh, is that my mama? And then the windows ro the window rolls down and it's my light skin ass mama. You am here. Oh, I need a moment. <laughs> and my mama see me standing next to this boy, and she like, um, Nia, come here. And I'm like, <laughs> I go to her car, and I'm like, Hey, mama, so uh, they canceled on me, and um, they didn't want to go anymore, so I decided to go out to eat with my friend here. And she was like, Nia. No, I don't believe you. You're lying to me, and I'm gonna tell you that. And I'm like, Mom. Ugh. She's like, Okay, enjoy your enjoy your little date with your friend. I'm like, Y'all ever know like when your mom would be like threatening you, she'd be like, I'ma tell your daddy. Cause y'all, my daddy literally used to give me all my whoopings. My mama, like I would act up with my mom at home, and then when my daddy came home, my mama would be like, Yeah, and she was acting up. My daddy would be like, Okay, let me get the bill. I'm like. Why you why you didn't just whoop me? Why you gotta tell my daddy so he can whoop me? Like y'all, that was my mama. My mama literally told my daddy everything so he could whoop me. Literally. I'm scared out of my mind. Like I didn't get whoopings back then. Like, well, in my eleventh and twelfth grade year, I didn't get whooping. So I wasn't scared to get no whooping. But I knew my daddy was gonna be pissed because we had already like talked about dating and my daddy was like, Before I went on any date, he had to meet the guy. And I'm like, uh, cause I didn't want my parents meeting meeting the guy before I went on a date because what if it didn't work out and then y'all met him for nothing so I'm like I don't want to do this so I used to like sneak and go on dates because I don't want them meeting them because what if they trash what if they throw awayable like what you mean them for we had gone in and ate and he was like everything okay and I was like yeah that's just my mom she was just uh she just saw me around the corner and you know she just wanted to say hey he was like oh, okay that's cool that's cool we sit down, we have ordered, and my heart's still just beating down. I'm like, don't, 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 don't. I'm just rocking. I'm like, oh, snap. Whew, my daddy is going to talk to me when I get home. He's going to be mad. I'm like, oh, my gosh. My hand's sweaty. I'm just, he's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm straight. Y'all, I get a call from Willie Charles Mitchell. That's my daddy. I get a call, and he like, uh... So, you out with some boy, and you didn't tell me that uh you was going out on a date. You lied to your mama and said you was going to Trampoline Park. I am so disappointed in you. I'm like, and he was just like yelling. Like, if you know my daddy, he is loud. He was in the military, so he was literally just yelling. Literally yelling. And I'm like, okay, dad, okay. I'm, real, I'm trying to like make it like better. I'm no, um, my friends, they couldn't go anymore. I'm not lying. He was like, so why you out with some boy? Why you just didn't come back home? And I'm like, dang, you right. I could have just came back home, but I I had, you know, another plan. I'm like, no, nah, I had another plan, so I couldn't come back home. He was like, I'm just so disappointed in you. And he hung up the phone. And, like, I was on the phone sitting beside him. And he was like, uh, is everything okay? Because I heard your dad, like, yelling. And I'm like, I'm literally, like, so embarrassed because I'm like, okay, my dad... He heard my dad yelling, so now I got to tell him. I'm like, yeah, my dad's kind of mad because I just broke it down to him. I was like, my dad's kind of mad because he likes to meet the guys before I go out, on, go out on dates. And he's like, okay, I understand. He was like, he was really understandable. He was like, he's just a concerned dad. And I'm like, no, nah, he's really just overprotective. Like, I hate it. And so we had a nice, like, date. We finished it out. I was scared to go home, y'all. Well, I gave him a hug and all that, and we said our goodbyes. He was like, he was going to text me when I got home. He was like, text me um, when I make it home safely and all that. Now, it was time for me to go home, and I was scared out of my mind because I know I was going to get it. I knew I was going to get it. I'm like, oh, I know I'm going to get it. I was like, I'm probably going to get a whooping. I'm like, I'm 17 years old, and I'm probably going to get a whooping. That's what I'm thinking to, in my mind. I'm like, yep, I'm getting a whooping. 17 year look 17 year old gets whooping by 50 year old dad I, I could see it now at home scared to get out the car um i go home my dad's like come on we're gonna have a talk and i'm like oh it's like nia i understand that you're liking boys now and all that but you don't have to lie to us and i'm like this is where i had to like break it down for y'all don't understand that like every time i try to do something Y'all try to make it seem like I'm being sneaky or I'm out doing something. So I had to tell him that, like, you don't trust me to go out on dates. You don't trust me to be out late. So 
So why would I tell you? So now I gotta lie and do it behind your back because y'all won't let me do it. Y'all don't trust me to do what y'all instilled in me to be a good girl. He finally like, after we had a talk, we said some more stuff, but I, I ain't gonna say everything that he said because you know, he he went church on me. He went, went Bible. Look, look at this scripture. Philippians 28 and 35 and 68. Corinthians 2 and 5 says, I'm like, hey dad. He's like, just... He like just 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 don't lie to me like i i hate when you lie to me i trust you i want to trust you but when you lie to me i can't trust you so we just had a, a felt talk and i told him that like i want y'all to trust me more and i want y'all to let me do things more on my own without y'all trying to check up after me or following me pretty much now like every time i leave the house they're like i'm like i'm gone they're like okay bye be safe like now they don't ask me nothing because of course i'm grown you know 21 wait 21 i think it's this way yeah of course i'm grown 21 now they trust me more to like make good decisions that i'm out like not being wild now they don't ask me any questions when i'm going out they just be like be safe make sure you wherever you're going you're safe you're home safely you're not out um in danger in rough areas that's really it y'all if y'all ever had like that that tough parent wouldn't let you do anything, was overprotective. Y'all comment below and let me know because I know I wasn't the only one that, that lied to my parents about stuff and going out to events and parties and all that and on dates. So I just I just know, I know all y'all out there, I know. Yeah, I hope y'all like this story time. I just felt like I had to tell y'all, you know, about my childhood growing up, but I feel like now it was for the better. Like. I needed that. I needed some tough love. Now I understand why they did it because now y'all, these men out here um, raping these girls, kidnapping these girls, and I understand why my mom and my dad, you know, were so tough on me about going out, especially with men and boys that I didn't know. So I really thank them for that. If y'all like this story time, please let me know. Comment below, like, and subscribe. I want more. Please give me topics. Let me know what all y'all want to know about my childhood. And I'll do story time on that. So, yeah. It's your girl Nia Bia, and I am out. See y'all in the next video.